Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my math channel, Math Lab. Now I'm going to start Pearson and Excel A level exam for Step 6.1. This exam is taken on Tuesday, 21st of May 2024. Paper reference code is WST01 01. Question number one. A researcher is investigating the growth of two types of trees, birch and maple. The height to the nearest centimeter a seedling grows in one year is recorded for 35 birch trees and 32 maple trees. The results are summarized in back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram below. This data is given for birch and here it is given for maple. Uh, you should read this key. You know how you read uh, this one and this key you read like this one. It is 65 and this way 63. Okay. Uh, like uh, it is 28. How you read it? It is 28 and this is 29 like this and from here you read like this 25 and 27 like this okay uh, you should know you should know how you read the data the median height that these maple trees grows in one year is 45 centimeter median is represented by q2 you know the q2 formula uh, that is it is for maple trees this median is given 45 centimeter for maple tree median is given that is q2 it is equals to 45 and you know that uh, if you want to find q2 uh, which value is the q2 like uh, for maple maple there are 32 trees and if you want to find q2 we can divide this one by two by by two you know what is the formula 32 divided by two if you are getting a whole number here you always convert this one into a decimal like 16.5 value 16.5 value will be the median 16.5 value means you have to take the average of 16th and 17th value find the 16th and 17th value from this data 5 plus 7 12 13 14 15 16 so this is 16 and this one is 17th value okay how you read this value it is actually this value is 40 plus k so you can write here 40 plus k and the next value is 40 plus 7 means 47 so you have to take average of these two values i am adding these two values together and dividing by 2 equals to 45 from here you will get the value of k 2 will multiply over there it is 90 so 90 minus this value goes to the right side so it will be minus 40 plus 47 is 87 so our answer for k will be equals to 3 okay so first part is done find the lower and upper quartile of uh, the height uh, grown in one year for birch trees for birch trees so you need to find uh, q1 and upper quartile the lower quartile is uh, q1 we already uh, for birch tree and upper quartile is uh, presented by q3 okay so let me read uh, let me write here q1 how you find q1 q1 formula is n by 4 q2 is n by 2 q1 is n by 4 so how many birch trees are there let me go back there birch trees are 35 okay so 35 divided by 4 35 divided by 4 will be equals to 8.75 implies that whenever you get the decimal you will make it whole number if in the next whole number and if you are getting a whole number you add 0.5 this is the rule for these questions so ninth value will be q1 okay so you have to find ninth value that will be q1 let me go back to the data and we will find the ninth value from this data so this these are two and uh, two and eight nine so this value okay how you read this value uh, you will read like this three and nine thirty nine okay so thirty nine will be the answer for q1 now for q3 what is the formula for q3 that is three n by four we have number of values there thirty five divide by four if you solve by using calculator your calculator is giving you the answer 26.25 as i told you earlier when you get the decimal we always round up to the next whole number so 26 will be rounded up so it will be 27th value 27th value will be the upper quartile so let me go back to the data to find the 27th value 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 9 19 19 plus 9 so 28 so this value so you how you read this one from here 50 and 7 57 so 27th value is 57 
so this is the answer for the second part uh, second part is done uh, you need to find q1 and q3 only for this part for the next part the researcher defines an outlier as uh, as an observation that is greater than actually this is the formula you need to find uh, this is called iqr interquartile range okay so q3 plus 1.5 multiply iqr or less than any value greater than this and less than that value this formula is uh, used for finding the upper limit any value that is greater than this upper limit will be the outlier any value less than the lower limit is the outlier okay so uh, these formulas we will use show that there is only one outlier amongst the burst trees uh, we have to consider the burst trees only this data we already found uh, q1 and uh, q3 in the previous part for burst trees uh, here for the next part you should uh, find the upper limit what is the upper li limit formula better you find q3 and q1 q3 minus q1 is the iqr that is equals to 57 minus 39 equals to 18 and you need to find the upper limit upper limit formula is q3 plus 1.5 times iqr iqr is the interquartile range plug the values there that will be 57 plus 1.5 into iqr that is 18 get the answer from here that will be equals to 84 any value that is greater than this value is the outlier any value greater than this is the outlier and uh, for lower limit we have this formula q1 it is given in the question q1 minus 1.5 iqr use the values q1 is uh, 39 minus 1.5 iqr is 18 and uh, solve by using calculator to get the answer as 12. any value greater than this value is the outlier okay any value less than this is the outlier now go back to the question uh, the data so you will find the outlier here we have uh, any value greater than 84 is 85 is there any value less than 12 there is no value less than 12 so there is only one value 85 that is greater than 84 so you can write here 85 is greater than 84 in the burst trees so therefore 85 is the only one outlier so part c is done let's move on uh, to the next part the grid on page 3 shows a box plot for the heights that the maple trees grow in one year on the same grid draw a box plot for the heights that burst trees grow in one year now you need to draw the box plot for burst trees this is data for the burst trees 85 is the outlier and the maximum value for burst tree is 76 okay so you have to draw up to 76 and minimum value is 28 uh, let me start here uh, uh, yeah so minimum for the data is uh, 28 and uh, maximum value here i am writing in shortcut uh, so that is 76 and outlier is 85 we already got it okay and uh, q1 is there uh, and q3 we already found for burst tree q1 is 39 q1 is 39 and uh, q3 is 57 you need to find uh, q2 as well uh, let's go back and find q2 for burst tree you know q2 will be um, this is 35 35 means uh, 35 you will divide by 2 you get as 17.5 uh, implies that 18th value because it is a decimal so you have to round it up 18th value will be the median for burst tree so 18 value find from here 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 9 so this will be the 18th value this one so it is 48 okay you will read like this so this one will be q2 Q2 is 48 so Q2 is 48 so this is the information what we have for burst tree and we will draw the box plot accordingly so minimum value is 28 so mark that point uh, better this okay let me show you uh, this is 30 so 2 
two units backward so this point okay you will start from here this is the minimum value and maximum value is 76 so it will go one unit here because it is 75 so next unit will be 76 got it this is the minimum maximum 85 you will mark here so it is the outlier and uh, q1 is 39 39 will be one unit uh, this one so this is 39 is q1 and q2 is 48 48 will be two units backward so this is 48 and uh, 57 uh, so it will go two units uh, next to this one so this is 57 so these are the points uh, and uh, you can draw a box plot accordingly this one and and you can join up to this it is uh, q1 and this is q2 and now this is q3 okay and from here uh, draw a line up to the maximum value for this data okay so this is the box plot for the birch tree uh, hopefully you understand how to sketch it first find the minimum maximum and write all these values and draw the lines the points and then join them accordingly okay and you will get the box plot like this uh, let's move on to the next part uh, comment on any difference in the distribution of the growth of the birch trees and the growth of the maple trees state the value of any statistics you have used to support your comment and there are many ways you can write here the range value you can write interquartile range i think uh, the easiest is here uh, the median of the birch tree is greater than uh, the maple tree here median um, is 48 and uh, for maple it is 45 so you can write the answer here for this part birch tree have a greater median growth so you have to write a comment to justify your answer uh, because uh, here you can show uh, the median high uh, growth uh, for birch tree is 48 so you can mention here 48 is greater than 45 the researcher re realizes he has missed out four pieces of data for the maple trees the heights each uh, seedling slows in one year to the nearest centimeter in ascending order for these four maple trees 27a 48 and 2a so these four values he missed there in the data set given that there is no change to the box plot for the maple tree uh, given on page 3 find the range of possible values of a for the last part of the question uh, these two four values were missed from the data set they were not written 27a and uh, 48 and 2a now these four values should be equally distributed into uh, this data set okay uh, we have four regions for maple tree box plot one region is starting from 25 to 36 uh, this is 36 this point and the other is 45 here and uh, first region is from 25 to 36 so 27 will come over here in this region for sure 27 will be added to this so these four values should be equally distributed to get the same graph okay so each value should come into each of these four, four portions there are four portions here one two three and four in the first part 27 is coming here in this part somewhere here and uh, 48 will be here now we have two values left so these two values should come into this region and the last one so a should come into this region and the uh, 2a will be in this region okay and maximum value is here 80 and q3 is 54 okay so the range of the values for a we can write uh, should come from 36 to a value of a will be from 36 to 45 for sure okay this is the one condition so a is coming from 36 to 45 uh, but uh, 2a 2a will be uh, from 54 to 80 so we have this one condition one inequality result number one uh, but we can say from here 2a is uh, from starting from 54 to 80 so we can write here 54 and the last value is 80 uh, to get the value of a from here divide by 2 so it will be 27 less than a is less than 40 okay now we have these two in these two results here from these two results we will conclude we have to take the intersection part you know that uh, 
27 is out of the value if you are using this as the 27 is not included in 36 okay got it but 36 is included in 27 because more than 27 36 is more than 27 and uh, 45 is not included here but 40 is included there right so if you uh, use these two results actually we have to take the intersection part of these two you can write here from 1 and 2 we can conclude the result that a should be greater than 36 and less than 40. So from these two results you can conclude the result that value of a should lie between 36 to 40. Hopefully you understand it. Uh, this is all about question number one. If you have any doubt or comment please write in the comment box. Thank you.